Hello, Preston Vogelin here, the engineering manager at Anvil Brewing. And today I'm excited to share with you some of the updates to our 10 and a half gallon foundry. Our first update was to the power cable. In the past, the power cable was a 120 volt connection wired to the unit. Now, it's a 240 volt connection. Included with that is our 120 to 240 adapter cable. In the past, brewers have been challenged with adapting their 120 plug into a 240 volt connection. We've eliminated that pain point with the adapter cable. And as a reminder, our unit's the only one on the market that has the 120 volt and 240 volt capability. In the future, we'll have this option available on the six and a half gallon foundry. It won't be available on the 18 gallon foundry though, as that's standard at 240 volt and not available on the 120 volt operation. The unit will come preset for 240 volt operation. If using it with 120 volt, you'll need to adapt the power cable and change the switch over to 120 volt operation by moving it into the up position. The second improvement we've made to the foundry is to make the screen more waterproof and serviceable. Some brewers were having issues with water seeping in behind the screen and making the controller difficult to read. We've eliminated that by adding gaskets and waterproofing geometry to ensure no water can get into the screen. In addition to waterproofing, you'll find four mounting screws on the front of the controller screen. If you ever need to replace a screen, it's simply removing the four screws, unplugging, and swapping out the controller. These screen improvements will be coming to the six and a half and 18 gallon versions in the future as well. Finally, we have the epic return of the stuck mash resistant sidewall perforations to the grain basket. In the original version of the basket, we had three to four inches of sidewall perforations and a welded on bottom. With our first change to the basket, we eliminated the sidewall perforations and added a removable false bottom. While that was a great change to improve the cleanability of the basket, some brewers were seeing more stuck mashes due to the lack of sidewall perforations. With version three of the basket, we've brought back the sidewall perforations, but only at a height of one and a half inches. With the short sidewall perforations, you can maintain high efficiencies, do small batches, and prevent stuck mashes. The consensus is that a majority of our customers love this style of basket, and honestly, I do too. Here at Anvil Brewing, we're always listening to our customers. Their feedback has driven many great changes to our products over the years. So never hesitate to reach out. Cheers and happy brewing.